Here's a neat chemistry trick you can use to teach folks a little bit about acid-base chemistry and also the chemistry of candies. I'm going to add a squirt of universal indicator to about 100 milliliters of water. And I'm going to take that water and I'm going to pour it into three separate beakers. And just to show that there's, you know, nothing in these beakers and I'm really using the same fluid for all three experiments, we'll just dump them back in and pour out the indicator again. So everything's nice, well mixed. And then I'm going to take two white Mentos candies and I'm going to place them each into these outside beakers. And then I'm going to swirl. And what you'll notice with this particular uh, Mentos candy, the color has shifted maybe from a, like an orange, well, a yellow, uh, yellow color to maybe a little bit green. That indicates the presence of a base uh, because the yellow is slight acid and the green means that this is uh, somewhat neutral. So there's a shift away from acidity indicating that this Mentos candy contained a little bit of base. Now if I try the same experiment with this Mentos candy over here, I get a really different result. This Mentos candy over here changes the indicator to a red color. And that tells me that that Mentos candy has acid in it. Well, how can that be? They're both white Mentos candies. Well, here's the trick. In this beaker is placed a white mint Mentos candy. And in this beaker is placed a pink strawberry Mentos candy. But you'll notice it wasn't pink when I placed it in there. It was actually white. The mint candy does not contain any acid because acids tend to taste sour and so acids are added to candies occasionally to give the candy a slight sour taste along with a sweet taste. Nobody really wants their mints to taste sour so there's no acid added to the mint Mentos candy. On the other hand there is some citric acid and you can read it in the ingredients of a strawberry or any other fruit flavored Mentos candy. There's going to be citric acid added to a fruit Mentos candy to give it that sour taste that's indicative of a fruit to go along with the sweet taste, of course, that goes along with fruits as well. But how did I get this candy over here to be white? That's really quite simple. You just wash it off. You just wash the dye off. So you just take your Mentos candy and place it in some water and give it a good swirl. I like to turn it upside down and swirl again. And you just swirl. It doesn't take very long. You just swirl until you first notice that the white color excuse me, that the, uh, the pink color is gone. Doesn't take long. And then you take that out. And that looks white. And since most people associate a white Mentos candy with the mint candy, nobody really suspects that this is anything other than a mint Mentos candy, whereas it's obviously a fruit strawberry Mentos candy that contains acid. So if we repeat the experiment, this time, it should be fairly obvious what's going on. You got your universal indicator. You place your mint candy in the first. Give it a swirl. Often see a slight color change to a greenish, which tells me there's probably a base in there. Unfortunately, as I read through the ingredients on the mint Mentos, I don't see anything that really catches my eye that would indicate a base, but nevertheless, when I do the experiment here, it sure does seem like there's a little bit of base in there, pulling the yellow color to a bit more green. We try the same thing with the strawberry Mentos that's been disguised, and the citric acid in the strawberry Mentos will change the indicator to a red color indicating an acid.